Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing great today. In today's lesson, we're going to look at how to patch your database. As a DBA, one very important task you will be performing is to patch your database whenever there is a new patch release. Now, for the records, there is a quarterly patch that Oracle releases every quarter. This patch will fix known bugs and enhance the security of your database. In this lesson, I'm not going to talk about how to download the patch because I don't want to make this video too long. Um, besides, it's something you will do when you create an account with Oracle support as a DBA. Okay? So I'll just go straight to the lectures. Now for the records, I have downloaded the files we're going to use and they are saved in the shared folder that is connected to my virtual machine. So you can do same and then follow the steps to patch your database. Now the first thing you want to do is to look at the version of your old patch utility because you need to change it you need to remove it and update it with the most recent Opatch utility. Opatch utility is the utility that enables you to patch your database after downloading the release updates from Oracle support site, right? So you can see I just executed this command, dollar sign Oracle underscore home slash Opatch slash Opatch version. Now, this command actually reveals the Opatch utility version. From our screen, you can see that the Opatch utility version is 12.2.0.1.17. Okay. Now, for the patch set release that I have, it comes with its version of Opatch utility. So, the next thing we want to try to do is to remove this old patch utility from the Oracle home. And so for that, we are going to execute the command remove minus F arrow dollar sign Oracle underscore home slash opatch. This will remove the old opatch version. And then the next thing I want to do is to extract the downloaded files to the Oracle home. So for that, I'll run the command on zip and then I give the location of the file which is this and then we are unzipping it to the oracle home so you can see that all the files have been extracted to the oracle home right now the next thing we want to do is to verify that the opatch version has been updated so for that i'll execute the previous command that we we executed to check the opatch version and then you can see that the version has been changed to 12.2.0.1.32. Now the next thing I want to do is to create a directory mkdiro slash staging under the Oracle home directory. Okay, we're going to unzip the release update file into this directory. So again, I'm going to run this command unzip. I'll give the location where the file is. Like I said, it's a shared folder that is shared between my hosting PC and my virtual box. Okay. And then we're extracting it into the staging directory that we just created. So let me run this command. This might take a while. So I'll have to pause the recording until it's done. And then I'll continue with the lectures. Okay, guys, you can see that we are done extracting the file to the staging folder. Now, among the things extracted is a readme file, which will guide you through the entire patching process. So one of the things you want to do is to copy that readme file, you know, to perhaps maybe the shared folder and then open it with a browser. I'll just show you real quick. So I'm trying to copy the readme file to the shared folder. That is done. Um, let's just take a look at that file. This is it. 
So I'll open it with Google Chrome. And then you can see the details of the steps to be followed to patch. I'll not bore you with going through all of this one after the other. I'll just go straight to the lectures. Maybe on your own, you can take the time to go through it because I already put down the steps to follow. Okay, so let me leave that to you to handle. So the next thing is to add the O patch path to the path variable by executing the command export path is equal dollar sign path column dollar sign oracle underscore home slash O patch. Okay, this will make things easier for us. Now let's change directory to the release update staging directory. Next step is to check for any patch conflict. Okay, just to know if any patch conflicts with the patch we want to to use. So for that, we'll execute the command o patch prereq. That's prerequisite. Check conflict against o patch with detail. Okay, so this will check. You can see it's succeeded, and we don't have any major conflict. So at this point, all we need to do is to connect to the database as sysdba. So you can see I'm connected as the sysdba. Now take note of the fact that the version we're trying to patch is right now 19.3.000, okay? At this point, you need to shut down the database. So execute the command shut down immediate. Before you shut down the database, you need to stop all running applications. Disable all automatic jobs that were scheduled, okay? Disable all of them, stop all applications from running. And then also stop the listener. Listener has been stopped. Now, if you find yourself in a production environment, you will need to take a backup of the Oracle Home. This is very important. However, since this is a lab environment, we can skip that. And then the next thing we want to do is to apply the patch by simply running the command o patch apply. You can see it's verifying your environment and performing some prerequisite checks. So it's asking you, do you want to proceed? Just type Y and enter. And then it's asking you again, is the local system ready for patching? Press Y and enter. And then this patch officially kickstarts. Now this entire process can take as much as 10 minutes. So I'm going to pause the recording until the patch is done. Okay guys, you can see that the patch has succeeded. Now the next thing you want to do is to change directory to the O patch directory by executing this command cd dollar sign oracle underscore home slash o patch okay and then the next thing you want to do is to run the data patch utility now this will update the binaries okay so for that we we'll type the command dot slash data patch minus the booze and enter oh we are facing an error so sorry, I'm going to fix this error now. We are supposed to start the database. So we quickly connect as the sysdba, and then we say start up. We start up the database before we run the data patch utility. And then the next thing we want to do is to alter and open the pluggable databases, right? And then we exit. Now we can run the data patch utility. Yeah, everything seems to be okay. So we give it some time and it will be done. Okay, so everything is done and everything ran successfully. Now, for us to be sure of the version of database we have, we need to run a query. Before that, I need to connect as sysdba, okay, and execute this query, select all, from v dollar sign version. You can see now that we have 19.16.000. Previously we had 19.3.000. So we've successfully patched our 
database. At this point, you want to exit and then start your listener, L-S-N-R-O-C-T-L space start. And then allow applications to connect back to the database. It's also advised that you take a backup of the database after a successful patch. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was interesting to you. If it was, kindly like it and share it widely. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell icon so you don't miss out whenever I upload another valuable content. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.